This is the My Morning Show with Bobby and Liberty on My 105.3. You know, each week, uh, each week we, we welcome in a doggy from It Takes a Village as our Thursday pet of the week. And so we're, we're glad to have a human joining us. <laughs> no dogs today. To and it's talk on Friday. About, that's right. Uh, it's, uh, it's Human Friday with It Takes a Village <laughs> by 105.3. Uh, we're talking with Susan from It Takes a Village uh, about the upcoming annual canine carnival. And uh, kind of an important date is coming up, and that is the, the deadline to get your tickets bought. Yes, that's correct. Monday is the last day for our uh, ticket sales for our Canine Carnival. The event's actually on the 23rd, but okay. uh, we can't sell tickets at the door, so Monday's the deadline. Monday is March 18th. That's when you need to have your tickets purchased. And uh, if somebody hasn't purchased tickets yet... Now's an opportunity to tell them why they need to, why they need to be a part of this event. This is such a great event. We've actually had it for many years, but last year we moved it to Tropicana downtown. Uh, and we're actually in the uh, the plaza, the events plaza that overlooks the river. Mm-hmm. And so it's such a wonderful event. It, it's a great venue. Uh, and we have really great things. We have a mystifier or like a David Copperfield type illusionist oh that comes. Oh my gosh, I went last year. Is it the same guy? Same guy. He was... <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you you just wonder the whole time, like, how's he doing front? that? I'm going to sit in the front, so maybe he'll pick me this time. <laughs> Is he going to make, like, a bunch of dogs disappear or something? <laughs> he did something last he year. He levitated a table. Yeah. Like, it was up off the ground, Bobby. Yeah. Like, it, I don't even know. Really and I was close. I could see. <laughs> and I was really impressed with what he had posted a number... Um, weeks before the event on mm-hmm. his Facebook page, and he did some type of an illusion where at the end of the day, then we, someone from the audience, selected that, selected number. that number. Wow. But, or was that like how many... Was it how many, how many people, people that was going to attend or something like something. that? It was something. And it was Weird. just everybody was just in awe. Like, and plus, he the other thing, his name is uh, Lamont McGee, and he actually floats throughout the crowd. And so it's not just at one show. It's like, like literally floats? He doesn't well, hover. <laughs> well, you know, Susan. <laughs> you can see why I, I would that. think that because she's sorry. talking about making tables <laughs> levitate. I'm thinking maybe that's part of his act is he's he like might, hovering. A pe- I'm sorry. <laughs> he I, might we're this talking time. about a mystifier. So I, poor word choice, but gotcha. um, he mingles throughout the crowd. Oh, okay. And he does one on one acts and stuff but we also have monty skelton and friends oh, uh, monty is really wonderful in his band and they actually are having a couple guests from a different band so it's like a that's why it's monty and friends because yeah. they've I'm all come together with them yeah spoiler alert they, they, <laughs> they are really really great and then of course uh, we have the cajun theme so we have um, a buffet really great food fish and shrimp and um not too spicy food but really great food and then of course we'll have puppy dogs there we don't go anywhere without our puppy dogs we're talking with uh, oh sorry we're talking with Susan from uh, It Takes a Village about the seventh annual Canine Carnival coming up on March twenty third, uh, but you need to get your tickets by Monday March eighteenth. That's right. That's right. Um, the other great thing is we have a silent auction, and even we really hope everybody comes and supports the event. But even if you can't, if you go to our website itvrescue.org, you can still bid on the silent auction items. It's mobile bidding, and so even if you can't make the event, you can still bid on our items. Last year, it was just so cool to be in a room with so many other dog lovers, and I adopted my boxer, Harley. Yes, uh, from I remember it Harley. Yes. <laughs> um, so I actually got to meet her foster. Wonderful. I was like, oh, yeah. my gosh. She would... And then I see pictures on her Facebook of where Harley was, like, getting along with other dogs. And I'm like, <laughs> this happened? doesn't happen now. <laughs> what, She's what an only happened? child now. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened. We obviously adopted her out as perfect. So whatever happened after <laughs> that, we can't say. <laughs> Well, no. It Takes a Village is a no-kill shelter over on Stockwell Road. And Susan, if you could, just talk about how important that aspect is of what you guys do. Well, we are a community-supported rescue, which means that we don't rely on any government funding or anything along those lines. And so we these fundraisers, if you know anything about It Takes a Village, you know we are in the community all the time because mm-hmm. we need money. Um, it, it costs us about a half a million dollars a year to run our operations. Wow. Um, a huge part of that, part of that is vet bills. Um, so part of being a no-kill rescue is that we go above and beyond with mm-hmm. dogs. Um, we don't look at costs as far as helping dogs. For example, one dog about six months ago, we spent over $3,000 on her getting her healthy. But wow. we got her healthy. We actually took her to a specialist over in Louisville, got her health healthy. Um, the great team at Eastside helped us out too. Um, and she got adopted. And she's been adopted now for about six months. And she's doing wonderfully and healthy and excelling in her forever home. So the Canine Carnival is coming up on March 23rd. That's a Saturday. But the important date really is uh, is Monday, March 18th. That is the deadline to purchase your tickets we have information up on our website, my1053wjlt.com, also on our app. And, uh, and of course, you can see our, our Thursday Pet of the Week every week. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, this week, it is uh, a sweet puppy dog named Brooks. 
And uh, do what you can, please, to help out It Takes a Village, either by doing the silent auction, even if you can't attend the event, or just buy some tickets and go go to the Canine Carnival on March 23rd. Uh, our thanks to you, Susan, for Thank coming you. by. Thank you. You guys are great supporters of our rescue, and we really appreciate it.